Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it's Abyss, and in this video, I'm going to show you the locations to all the collectibles, the wealth, mysteries, and artifacts. Now in the description below, I'll have timestamps for each individual one, just in case you want to jump to any part of this video. Other than that, I hope you all enjoy the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will see you next time. Welcome, fair traveler. Curious child of his. I am Brendan of Ireland, and through light and voice have these stones spoken to me. Here lies the markings of him, where a second voice, higher than most, spoke to me again. Listen. Oh, I have learned where long ago was a great and tragic war. Okay, so real quick on this one because this one is a little tricky. Uh, if you notice right behind the boat, there's a statue and it has like a white banner or there is a dark banner. Uh, what you want to do is you want to look to the right and the left and you want to locate whatever color banner is right in front of you on that ship. So an example, uh, mine is, looks like it's a white banner. So I'm going to go to the left and then I'm going to shoot the flames that have the white banner and turn them blue. So you look to the left and then you look to the right and whatever banner that is matching on the boat you want to make sure that those banners to the left and the right are going to be blue and then this will unlock the door Firewood from firewood burns, flame kindles flame, and from man goes wisdom to man, and folly to folly. His ghost will haunt us. There's no ghost. Danes don't have... This man is a Norse warrior, and his body deserves respect. Where is his axe? He cannot go to Valhalla without it. Hurry, ran off with it. Don't hurt us. We didn't mean anything. Please. I will not harm you. I just want to get this man's axe returned. Where's this boy gone? Over that way. 
He was playing with it. Slaying monsters. You there, boy. Give me the axe before you hurt yourself. I am no mere boy. I am Hurry, Slayer of Monsters. You'll have to win it from me in single combat. With a warrior of your might, clearly it must be a battle to the death. If you fail me, tell my brother I love him. Wait, no. I'll give it back. Just... Just no battle to the death. You show me mercy, Monster Slayer. Go. I will race you back to the Fallen Warrior. Look, there's a spider crawling around his eye. Though we know not your name or your clan, you are a warrior of good stock. Odin welcomes you to his table in Valhalla. Amen. And one day, us warriors will join you, fighting monsters in eternal battle. This is your house? I set my key down, only to watch it fall into the river. My name's Bron. Hi, Bron. Ah, a Dane. I have an object inside that you'd be interested in. The legendary horn of Ragnar Lothbrok. You have Ragnar's horn? How can you know it was his? You have me there, friend. I cannot be certain. It's a very old Dane horn. Help me into my house. You can judge for yourself. Hey! Can't do this alone! I am curious to see this horn. I hid it somewhere long ago. Forgive me, I can't recall just where. Help me search. Ah, yes! Now I remember! It must be behind there. Well done, friend! Look at that! That's no horn. Hmm. Let me have a look. Horn! Thief! You filthy Dane, get out of my house! This man told me the house was his. Have you any idea how important I am? I shall have you both flayed and hung from the city gates. Friend, it's all a simple misunderstanding. If you were deceived, Dane, you'll return my biblo and help me kill this villain. Here's your item. Bron here is a liar and a thief. He deserves what he gets. No! Won't take long. Right side, idiot. So much for him. You've helped me, Dane. I will not send you before the Magistrate for robbery. I trust you are grateful. <laughs> I regret only that I did not hear the battle song of Ragnar's horn. said that he pined, and I feel torn in two. My loyalty to him...
like a trap.
Wait till Leech your evil stink eyes and flame them. Oh, starlight! My starlight! A swift death by a sharp sting separates us, both by lip and by heart. Whether by land or by sea, we never shall part. A fellow romantic soul. Perhaps you might be able to aid my plight. What ails you? A witch told me that one sting from the fuzzy little demon would steal my breath. But my love keeps bees. You cannot deliver your love letter because there are bees in the way. I could carry it for you. If you would do this kindness for Gil, then you must be a kindred spirit. Do you also enjoy the stamen and the petal? I enjoy much of many things. Oh, I had a feeling you would understand. I have painted my love in words in this letter. Let your romantic heart guide you. If I find this love of yours, I will deliver your feelings. I am sure your words will lead me to your heart's desire. Thank you! Oh, thank you, stranger! I shall call you Sunshine, for you broke through the clouds of my loneliness. The sweetness of the honey on the tongue, but the danger of being stung. It's like love, always a chance of losing. Starlight, starlight, which of these keepers of the bees fit skills bones? Would you say that your hair could be described as bracken-colored tresses? I beg your pardon? An admirer of yours asked me to deliver a letter. I know these words. I've kept the brothers of this letter beneath my pillow to finally meet my secret bard. I must go. I have delivered the letter. Now to see if Gil has met his match. I have kept your letters under my pillow to give me dreams as sweet as your words. Now I know my love is sweet as apples. My starlight. It's as if my heart is to burst with this happiness. My love requited. Now, tell me more of my lashes and how they are like the... Your lashes? Why, they are beautiful. Ah. But they are a candle in the brilliance of your hands. So warm and strong in mine. Good for you, Gil. Best of luck to you both.
What is it you want? Who are you? I need to get out of here. I will kill you for that. Have you nothing to say?
Your baby is coming. Where is the nearest healer? I will take you. No need for a healer, love. Just get to the top of that hill. I can do the rest. What? All the way to the top? And you intend to go alone in your state? Yes! Ah! Oh, I'll roll my fat corpse up this hill if need be! It's too far to carry you like this without hurting your babe. I shall have to take you by horse. Ah, uh, you need not help me, but... Who am I to look a gift Dane in the mouth? It is dishonorable to leave a pregnant woman to the elements. Why does the baby's father not come to you? The baby's father is a god. Mockers of the wood saw me on solstice and wooed me with his song. You laid down with a god. Aye, is that so shocking? Mary grew Christ from the... Picked up our trail. Hold on. Is that so shocking? Mary grew Christ from the touch of God. I heard of a Dane God who lay down with a horse. Loki, and he was also a horse at the time. You didn't get mounted by a horse god, did you? No, it was very much a man. A godly man, definitely not a mortal. But I didn't see him by light of day, so who knows? Child out of wedlock. Oh, I should raise the babe out here. Safe from town gossip. Raising it as a bastard. How oh, they'll talk. <sighs> Lying with woodland gods and living out in the wilderness. I should become a witch. What do you think, love? Is that all it takes to become a witch? Oh, we're not far now, love. You can leave me on the steps of the temple if you want. The rest shall come naturally. I'm not leaving you to bleed out or be taken by wolves. If your god lover cannot join you in birth, then I will guide your child out. Oh, I doubt he will. I ran after our little encounter. Oh, thank you, love. You have been kinder to me than my own kin. We've made it to the shrine. Do you think the other wealthy father will be able to find us? I wasn't impregnated by a god, just an ordinary man as bored as me. Doubt we want anything to do with this child. I see. Then we shall focus on the child instead. Breathe deeply and try to relax. This will take time. I will build a tent. You did a great job. A healthy baby girl. Just hear that cry. Warrior's lungs. <sighs> a girl? I have no knowledge of warriors or what to name them. How about your name, then? Little Eivor. Ermina? I've been looking everywhere. Rand told me you'd run off and I worried the worst. <gasps> Is that... Is that... This is your god lover? I expected more. God lover? Should I take that as a compliment on my prowess or an insult to my name? Go, Mokas. Our families would never approve the Union. And if you're to have any reputation, you will forget me. I think I get to stay in that. I care not about status. And if all we have together is some hut in the woods, then so be it. A hut in the woods does sound fit for a witch and her babe.
Describe it for me, Sigurd. Valhalla. My father says the walls will drip me, your fingers will sing, and your feet will grow wings. Jewels will fall from the mouths of wolves, butter jumps from barrel to bread. And the mud smells of lavender. I heard that once. Yes, and when your eyes command rain, it pours hot drops. Your smile craves sun, the clouds part like curtains. Bloody, shiny, unbreakable Valhalla. One day our slaughter reeds will guide us there, my Eivor. And my father will not be with us. That much I know for truth. <laughs>